Hey YouTube, how's it going? Today we're gonna learn about checkbox input, right? In HTML. So, let's get started. Um, checkbox input. So far, the types of inputs we allowed were all single choices. But what if we presented multiple options to users and allow them to select any number of options. Sounds like we could use checkboxes. In a form element, this is the element, we would use the input element and set type checkbox. Examine the code used to create multiple checkboxes. So this is a form tag, paragraph tag, choose your piece of toppings, label for cheese, extra cheese label, and then input ID cheese, name Topping, type, checkbox, and values cheese. Break. Label for pepperoni, pepperoni, label, input ID, pepperoni, name, topping, type, checkbox. The values pepperoni. Break. Label for anchovy, anchovy, label, input ID, anchovy, name, type, checkbox, value, anchovy form. So this code renders, which this code right here outputs this right here. So choose your piece of topping, extra cheese, and then pepperoni and chobi. So notice, um, notice in the example provided, there are assigned values to the value attribute of the checkboxes. These values are not visible on the form itself. That's why it is important that we use an associated label to identify the checkbox. Each input has the same value for the name attribute using the same name for each checkbox groups the input together. However, each input has a unique ID to pair with a label. All right, time to use checkboxes in our code. So right here, the instruction is time to add some toppings. In the section with class toppings, there are two labels, but no associated input elements. At the input element associated with the first label, then created input should have an ID set to lettuce, a name attribute with a value of topping, a type set to checkbox, a value of lettuce. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So in this section right here of the code, we're gonna have to um, add it right here. We're gonna add the checkboxes and everything. So let's work with lettuce right now. Let's go input. Got to put an input ID equals lettuce, and then make sure that's closed, and the name equals topping. The type of equals checkbox. The value of the value equals lettuce. So value the value equals lettuce l e t t u c e okay let me close that tag so let's go ahead and see why this is messed messed up so the input id equals lettuce the name equals topping so space that out Okay, let's run it. Nice, that worked. So this printed uh this output of lettuce right here. And now we need to go ahead and do the next code. All right. So let's go put We also got a, uh, we forgot to make our label for So let's go ahead and do that. So label for equals, we got to do this. Oh, the label for is right here. So, um, okay, so this code is done. So now we got to go to the next one. So let's do tomato. So how would we do tomato? So what we do is we did an input 
ID. I'm gonna put tomato right here. Uh, input ID equals tomato. Tomato, tomato. And then the name equals topping. And the type will be um, checkbox. And the value will be, what will it be? Um, tomato. Let's try to make a string. Okay. Close that up. Okay, the value is set. So let's see what's going on. Um, input ID tomato. ID name. We got the name and we need a type equal checkbox and the value equals tomato. Let's run that code. So input type, so we needed, did you at the input type ID? So what are we missing here? Let's read it line by line. Input ID equals T O M A T O name equals topping type equals oh, I'm missing it right here. Okay. Perfect. Nice. And then two choices are good, but it would be better to have more. And add another input checkbox and label pair. Assign name of input to the topping. You're free to decide the value of ID. Make sure you able. Okay. Let's have some. Let's put some cheese. How about that? So. Let's add it right here. Label, let's make a label first for my cheese. And then uh, let's capitalize this. Cheese. And then we're going to close this and then put cheese and this will be a label. Okay. So now we did the label. Let's do the, um, input id again like we did before input id equals cheese name equals topping and then the type equals checkbox The value will be um, cheese. Hey, we got it. Nice. So it inputted this, and this cheese and tomato, and it works, guys. So. Let's try to put this right here. See if this matters.
There we go. All right, good. All right, guys, so what we did, we learned how to do check boxes in HTML, CSS. Um, making a check box input. So um, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys are doing well, and make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and more videos to come. And yeah, take care.